Hi, this is William. If you're watching this, you're probably in my capstone course in which you're going to be asked to use Git and GitHub to make your data analyses and presentation open to the public. Um, this will enhance reproducibility and replication effort. So to do this, let's first sign up for a GitHub account. Here's my website, but we need to go to github.com. So let's pick a username. And now let's give my school email address and let's create a password and sign up for GitHub. Let's not save a password. Okay, so we want to do free and I'm going to skip the help me set up organization but finish sign up. Now the first thing we're going to do now that we have an account is to fork uh, a project. So let's go to an existing project of mine and we're going to go to the capstone reproducibility project and we're going to fork it. This is ridiculously easy. All we have to do is come up here and click fork. So I am forking the project right now. As soon as this is done, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, it's done. This is now a part of um, my user account and I can start making changes, but in order to sync this with what I have on the desktop, I'm going to need to create a folder. So let's create a folder and we'll call this forked, forked, forked project. All right, so we're going inside of this folder and now let's go use Git. If you've already went through my um, setup r and Studio, you should already have Git available to you on um, your computer. So to do this, all we need to do is find terminal. And let's see where it is. Terminal, here it is. Let's open up terminal. And we are on my friend's computer. Let's cd change directory to the desktop. Now we're there. Now we need to change the directory to forked folder or forked project I think it was. Actually let's do an ls to see what's on the desktop. Okay so we're going to need to cd to forked project and we're going to use uh, quotes because we have a space in here. Forked project. Now we're going to use git in it to initialize the project. And now that we've done that, we're going to pull the work that we've already started. So git pull https colon backslash backslash, or maybe those are forward slashes, I don't really know. I always have to look that up, come. And now we put in our username, which was generic 2015 and the name of the repository, which was Capstone Reproducibility. And let's try that. It should ask me for some, oh, no, it's just doing it. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so it is unpacking the objects on the remote repository and it is putting them into the, the current forked project folder. So it returned here. This means that we should have everything set up and ready to go. So let's go to this folder. Open it up. Look there, data and readme. If we go back to Safari, you'll see that there was a folder called data and it had a readme. So now everything is synced up on this computer. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make some changes. I'm going to ask you to um, edit homework.rmd. So let's do this. Um, I'm not going to do all the edits for you. I'm just going to show you how to um, get something changed. This is open with, ah, open with, other, and we want our studio. Uh, I'll just use a text editor because RMD is just a plain text file. So I'm just going to change something. Hi, this is William. Okay, now I'm going to save. Uh, file save. Perfect. I'm going to close it. Now that I've changed things, um, I want to now get this information back up to GitHub. So I need to push it. So let's uh, close this 
and go back to terminal. Where are we? Here's our terminal. So let's add everything that we've done. Git add dash capital A. We've added everything. Let's do a commit. Git commit uh, dash M. We're going to leave a message and we're going to say changed the homework file. Just a simple little message. And it says commit is not a git command. Oh my goodness, I spelled things wrong. So I used the up arrow one time and now I can change this very simply and hit enter. Yes, so two files changed, one inserted, one deleted. Now let's try to push it back up. So git push dash u origin master. All right, origin does not appear to be a git repository. So let's add the origin. Git remote add origin. And this is going to be HTTPS, those slashes, github.com slash generic 2015 slash caps don reproducibility.git and now it should ask me for my um, user. Oh, it looks like I did that. Okay, so let's try to push it now. So let's use the up arrow. Username, so it needs my username. That's gener generic2015. It's gonna ask for my password. You will not see your password um, pop up as you type it in, so trust that it is working. All right, so it's returned us back to the prompt right here. This means we're back to the prompt. So let's see what happens if I um, go and refresh this. How do I refresh this on a Mac? This is curious and curiouser. Let's just click this again. Look, it says change the homework file. Things have just changed. So if I look at the data, sure enough, the changes, it looks like I've changed things. If I go to uh, the homework file, you can see, hi, this is William. So we have just successfully forked, changed, and pushed a project. Now let's show you how to create a brand new project um, of your own. So let's create a new project and go to repositories. We're going to create a new repository, and I'm just going to call this test. And I am going to just leave everything the way it is. I'm not even going to add a description. You can do this and hit create repository. So when it does this, it will tell you exactly what you need to do. The only thing that I recommend that you don't need to do is do this whole echo test readme or git add readme, whatever. Um, but we are going to need to create a directory and follow these other things. So let's do that. So let's go to our desktop and create a new directory. Uh, new, or how about test? Isn't that so clever? And so I now want to go out of my forked project directory. So I need to change directory and I'm going to use dot dot to go up a directory level. So now I'm just on the desktop. So I'm going to CD into the test directory. And now I'm there. You can see test. And so now I'm going to initialize git init. Perfect. I'm going to open up this test directory and I'm going to, let's say, add an item. Let's take something out of this directory and copy it. Copy, I'm sorry, I'm using a Windows key, keyboard on a Mac, so Command C, not data, Command C and Command V. So now I have this in here. So um, we have initialized our directory. Now let's do git, sorry, add a, and then git commit uh, dash, look, I did it again, dash m with our message, copied uh, readme. And now it says that we need to do some things. Look, so we need to indicate our name and email address. Your name and email address were configured automatically based on your username and host name. Please check if they are accurate. So um, it looks like everything is, is working just fine. I'm going to delete this count anyway. So Kelly, don't worry about it. Okay, so we have our committed. So now let's do git 
Actually, let's go back to Safari because this will hopefully make things easier. We're going to get remote add. Hopefully this will copy and paste into terminal. I don't think this works inside of Windows, but I believe it does on a Mac. So let's try. Yes! All right, and now uh, what do we need to do? Let's take a look back at what Safari told us to do. Push U Origin Master. So copy, go back to terminal, and paste. Return. It's probably going to ask me for my username and password again. Maybe it doesn't need that because uh, I already have done this. So let's go to our GitHub project and see if stuff is there. Look, look, look. Uh, read me. And Kelly Rice did it. So I'm going to have to delete this account because this is not Kelly Rice's account. But thank you so much, Kelly, for allowing me to do this and show my students how to sign up for a GitHub account, how to um, fork a an existing project, how to make edits, how to commit those edits, and then push those things back up to that fork project, and also how to create a new project um, and push your information up. So thank you so much, Kelly Rice. I really appreciate you letting me use your computer. Bye.